Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars and Thanos from the Marvel Cinematic Universe are each the biggest threats their respective universes have ever had to face. Which one of these galactic tyrants would come out on top if they were to battle each other for position as the most powerful being in the universe? And which one of them has the more uncomfortable chair? I'm gonna try and answer at least one of these questions in this video, so stay tuned to find out which. I'll be analyzing feats from all of their respective movies and canon appearances, which includes The Rise of Skywalker. So if you haven't seen the film yet, I recommend you do that before watching this video. As there will be spoilers. Emperor Palpatine is a Sith Lord, also known as Darth Sidious, who has spent his life mastering the dark side of the Force. He has become so powerful, he could seemingly stop himself from dying. Apparently, not even throwing him down a giant shaft and exploding a Death Star on him is enough to permanently kill him. After all, the dark side is a pathway to abilities many consider to be unnatural. Palpatine's trademark dark side ability is shooting lightning out of his fingertips. He loves to use this ability to electrocute his enemies while laughing maniacally. <laughs> And at full power, he's even able to deactivate an entire fleet made up of thousands of starships, while at the same time having enough control not to hit his allies. When turned back on himself, it was strong enough to completely obliterate his entire body, along with the surrounding stadium, causing thousands of spectators to be crushed by the debris. Like all Force users, he has the ability to move objects with his mind. He can either attack his targets with the Force directly, choking them or throwing them around like ragdolls, or he can try to use the environment to his advantage. His granddaughter Rey was powerful enough to easily lift dozens of tons of rocks with the Force, and stop a transport ship from flying away, which he accidentally destroyed with Force Lightning. And Palpatine was so much more powerful than her, that he was able to completely dominate her and Ben Solo, who was on par with her, at the same time. And that was before Palpatine even brought himself back to full power, by absorbing the Dyad. Whatever that is. He basically brought himself back to life by sucking the life force of Rey and Ben's bond, the Raylo bond. Whether or not he has the power to drain the life force from anybody is unclear. But if he can, that would be another dangerous ability in his arsenal that would be able to drain his foes while also restoring himself from any damage he may have suffered from. The power of the force also enhances his physical strength and speed, allowing him to perform feats no wrinkled old man should ever be doing. He was fast enough to kill two Jedi Masters before they could even react, and can flip around like a madman, similar to Master Yoda. He can jump extremely far distances, and is physically strong enough to fight off and even overpower Savage Opress, who has superhuman strength. He can also see into the future and react to incoming attacks, even if they're coming from a direction he cannot see. This makes it extremely hard to pull a fast one on him, though his overconfidence does allow him to let his guard down on occasion. Not even your mind is safe from the Emperor, as he can read the thoughts of others, make them hear voices in their heads, and if they're weak-minded enough, he can even outright control their actions. If need be, he has two lightsabers that can cut through almost anything. While he prefers to use the Force, he is a master with these weapons as well, and one wrong move will result in his enemies being cut down. <laughs> Thanos may not have any special powers, but his physical strength is immense. He was able to overpower the Hulk, who can leap miles into the air and stagger the mountain-sized suture, and can completely stonewall the momentum of a leviathan, killing it with just one punch. Thanos was also able to overpower Thor, who was strong enough to help move giant metal rings that were frozen together in space. His punches were hard enough to knock off Iron Man's mask, and Iron Man's armor just showed minutes before that it was durable enough to withstand a large meteor crashing into him. Thanos' durability is arguably even more impressive than his strength. He took virtually no damage from when Iron Man basically dropped an entire building on him, and when Nebula blindsided him with a spaceship. He was able to grab Doctor Strange's magical sword with his bare hand, and that seems to be the same type of magic that was able to cut off Cull Obsidian's arm, which would explain why Doctor Strange couldn't take the gauntlet from Thanos in that way. Captain Marvel was powerful enough to destroy massive spaceships by flying right through them, and Thanos managed to tank multiple of her attacks. Even with the combined might of the heroes fighting him on Titan, they were only able to draw a single drop of blood from him. Thanos has two weapons. One is a sword that is strong enough to break Captain America's shield, 
which has the power to block strikes from Thor's hammer. It also has the ability to reflect energy attacks, spin like a cyclone, and be thrown like a boomerang. Thanos' most powerful weapon is the Infinity Gauntlet, which allows him to use the powers of the Infinity Stones that he has gathered. The ones he uses most in combat are the Power Stone, which basically lets him destroy things, and the Space Stone, which allows him to teleport, move, hold things, and create mini black holes. With these stones working together, he was able to destroy the surface of a moon and bring down meteors onto the planet he was fighting on. The Reality Stone allows him to bend reality to his whim. Make things the way we want them to be. He can turn people and objects into whatever he so pleases. The Time Stone can let him turn back time, which can reverse anything bad that has happened to him, such as mortal injuries. He doesn't really use the Mind or Soul Stone much, but maybe they can be used to counter any mind games Palpatine tries on him. With all six stones, Thanos has the power to wipe out all life in the universe with just the snap of his fingers. Just, just like that. So how would a fight between these two megalomaniacs go down? If both are unarmed, I would have to give the fight to Palpatine. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. While Thanos could literally tear Palpatine in two, there's nothing he can do if Palpatine just decides to lift him up with the Force. Even if Thanos is stronger than the amount of force Palpatine can generate, he can't actually apply that strength while floating in the air. We see something similar happen to him in his fight with Scarlet Witch, where Thanos was practically helpless and needed to call for help. Palpatine is then free to zap him with his fleet-destroying lightning as long as it takes to kill him. Thanos has survived being hit by lightning before, but not by lightning of this magnitude for extended periods of time. Even if the lightning can't actually defeat Thanos, Palpatine still has other options like crushing his windpipe. And even if Thanos' windpipe is so tough Palpatine can't even choke him, he could theoretically just leave him in the air until he starves to death. There's also Palpatine's Force Drain ability, which may or may not work. The only way I see Thanos winning is if he somehow kills Palpatine before being lifted up by the Force. Or if he's just so durable Palpatine can't kill him at all, and he just waits for Palpatine's energy to run out. If both of them are allowed their weapons, things become a little more interesting. With his lightsabers, Palpatine has another possible method for killing Thanos. But Thanos has been shown resisting energy blades before, as well as high temperatures. So lightsabers may not be able to slice him up like butter like they do with most creatures. Also, Palpatine getting within lightsaber striking distance isn't a good idea for him, considering Thanos is so much stronger than him physically. So the only way he can properly use them is if he sends them out with the Force and uses them as ranged weapons. So while the lightsabers are a bonus, I don't think they give Palpatine much more of an advantage than he already had. Thanos' weapons, on the other hand, are a big help. His blade has been shown to repel energy projectiles, so he can probably use that to deflect Palpatine's lightning. And considering Rey was strong enough to hold back Palpatine's lightning, Thanos definitely should be able to. If he's lucky, Palpatine might even kill himself with his own lightning. Thanos can also throw his blade, so even if he's lifted off the ground, he still has a method of attacking. This fight would probably come down to whether or not Palpatine's strong enough in the Force to stop Thanos' blade from reaching him. Based off of what we've actually seen him do, I would say he probably can't outright stop it in time. He can probably redirect or dodge it, but that would take a lot of focus, and by the time Palpatine has recovered, it is highly likely the blade would have already returned to Thanos and he would be right on top of him. However, if Thanos loses his blade for any reason, he becomes pretty much helpless like in the first round, and for that reason, I think this round could probably go either way. Once Thanos starts collecting the Infinity Stones, this fight starts to become one-sided. With any one of the stones, besides the Soul and Mind Stones due to a lack of feats, Thanos should be able to beat Palpatine pretty easily. The Power Stone gives Thanos the ranged attacks he needs to win, and Palpatine shouldn't be able to stop it considering the stone has the power to wipe the surface of entire planets and destroy moons. The Space Stone will allow him to close the distance between him and Palpatine, throw black holes, or physically take control of Palpatine's body like he did with Loki. The Reality Stone can render Palpatine helpless by turning him into whatever he feels like. The Time Stone can reverse anything that has happened and create endless time loops. Doctor Strange was going to keep Dormammu trapped forever until he gave in to his demands, due to the fact he had no chance of actually winning. But with Thanos, he just needs to keep looping time over and over until he wins. The more stones Thanos acquires, the more of a mismatch this becomes. And with all of them collected, he can win with just the snap of his fingers. Just like that. 
Considering how multiple heroes working together couldn't even take the gauntlet from a mind-controlled Thanos, I doubt Palpatine will be able to disarm him, unless he literally disarms him. But we don't even know how easy it is for a lightsaber to cut through Thanos. And even if they could, I doubt Thanos would ever let that happen. That's the only small hope Palpatine has for beating Thanos with the gauntlet. It's a simple calculus. Now, here is my attempt to try and edit together a fight between these two. Look what you have made. I don't even know who you are. The one true emperor. I hope you liked my video. If you did, strike down the subscribe and like button. Make the sacrifice. I am all the weebs.